British scientists say they've identified the specific mechanism that makes certain bacteria resistant to a key antibiotic. It's part of a larger battle against drug-resistant bacteria, one of the world's most stubborn health problems. Once bacteria gets in the blood, it generally can lead to what's called a septic shock syndrome. Kidney failure, liver failure, you can get central nervous system issues, but generally you have a difficult time maintaining the blood pressure of the patient. Dr. Anthony Fauci runs infectious disease research at the National Institutes of Health. One of their major priorities is finding ways to stop drug-resistant bacteria, which kill about 50,000 people a year in America and Europe alone. In February, the World Health Organization put out a list of the 12 most dangerous of these so-called superbugs. At the top, a rod-shaped bacterium called Acinetobacter baumani that preys on hospital patients. Now, Acinetobacter is generally a microbe that's in soil and water. The threat of Acinetobacters became very much on our radar screen in the war wounds of our troops that were fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. If you look at the rate of antimicrobial resistance with Acinetobacter, it's high. 50% of them are resistant to carbapenem, which is a very important antibiotic that you generally treat these infections with when they're not resistant. Depending upon when you get it, you get what's called bacteremia. You have a central line in or a catheter. That's the original seed of the bacteria and then it seeds the blood. You get a bloodstream infection, you can wind up getting septicemia and multiple organ system failure. Fauci says that the key to stopping superbugs like these isn't necessarily chasing them with new drugs, but targeting existing drugs against them and trying to stop transmission in hospitals. And he thinks the PR campaign might be working. People like a challenge. So when you come out and you have WHO and the CDC saying, hey, multiple drug-resistant bacteria is a real problem. That's a challenge that excites people and say, well, you know, if I'm going to work on something, I want to work on something that's important where what I do will have an impact. 